Does the narcissist recognize your worth once you've separated? Does the narcissist recognize your worth? Will they ever recognize your worth? Before the narcissist met you, they carefully looked at you and everything you had to offer. They examined you in order to make a judgment and form an opinion. They recognized that you had something of value to offer them. They recognized that you had something to provide. They came around you because they thought that it was a convenient situation for them. They thought it was going to be beneficial to them. No one is going to put themselves in a situation or environment where they believe they're going to be at a disadvantage, where they believe they're going to experience difficulties or hardship, unless they think there is something they can gain from it. So they knew that you had something of value to offer them. They believed that they were going to get something out of it. If you look back and think about it, they initiated contact. They aggressively pursued you. They love bombed you. They gave you excessive compliments and praise. They put in all of this work because they were expecting something in return. They knew they had struck gold. They knew that you had something valuable. They knew that you were full of goodness and righteousness. So they recognized that you had something of value, but they didn't really recognize your worth as a person. A narcissist cannot see you as a real person. They just see you as an object. They just see you as something that exists to meet their needs. All they care about is what you can give to them or how you can make them feel. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. So they could never connect to you as a human being. Which is why they're so superficial. That's why they're so heavily focused on their image. That's why they're only concerned with materialistic things. Because there's nothing beneath the surface. They lack depth. And a person must have that before they can fully recognize and understand it in someone else. Which is why they could never understand you. They could never share your experience or put themselves in your shoes. They never had any interest in doing that. Because they're very superficial people who are only concerned with their own feelings and needs which is why you could never have a deep, meaningful conversation with them. Everything was very shallow. Because they can't really recognize your worth as a person. That means nothing to them. They see that you have something of value in the beginning. It's like they're hungry and they pick out a burger or some other food that they like. They consume whatever benefits them, whatever satisfies their hunger. But then they throw the packaging away because they don't need that. 
It doesn't do anything for them. They are like packaging that looks good on the outside. But then there's nothing of any real meaning or purpose inside. But that's also how they see you. Because they cannot experience that side of you. They cannot experience your true depth and intensity. So once they've come around you. And got your attention and admiration. Your money and affection. There's no reason for them to stick around. Because as far as they're concerned, everything else is just garbage. It doesn't do anything for them. Because they cannot connect to you on a human level. They're very superficial. So they just see you as an object. They just see you as something that exists to meet their needs. They don't see any purpose in taking an interest in your thoughts or feelings about something. They don't see any point in having deep meaningful conversations with you. Unless they can use it to get your attention. So that they can get something out of you in the future. But even then, they're not going to be interested in anything you have to say. They're just going to pretend like they're listening. Because none of that means anything to the narcissist. All they care about is superficial things. Anything to make them feel better. Whether it's money, sex, cars or clothes. Anything else is just irrelevant to a narcissist. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't do anything for them. So, no. They do not recognize your worth as a person. They cannot see you as a real human being. Because they're not real. Only real can recognize real. You have to have depth to fully recognize it in another person. Which is why it was so easy for them to discard you. Because in their minds what they left behind was just garbage anyway. They got all of your time and energy. They had all of your attention. They had sex and money. In their minds, that's all there is. Anything else just goes in the trash. But although they may not have recognized your worth as a person, they recognize the worth of what you had to give to them. That's why they pursued you. That's why they seek your affection and love. That's why they seek your support. They did whatever it took to get you. Because they knew that you had something valuable. And their goal was to get all of the good things that come along with being with you. To reap the benefits and rewards. To milk as much out of you as they can. So they're just sitting back and consuming everything that you are. But really they're just thieves. They're like people who steal your property. Because they use stealth. Their behavior is marked by secrecy and sneakiness. Because when they first met you, they acted like they wanted something deep and meaningful. They acted like they wanted to connect with you. But really, they only come around you to steal from you. To deprive you of everything you possess. They will take whatever they think is beneficial to them. 
They manipulate and lie to you. Because that is the only way that they can get anything from you. They're not worthy or deserving of anything you have. But because of their arrogance and entitlement, they feel like they should have whatever they want. They can't see any reason why they shouldn't get it from you. If they can use deception to deprive you of your money and possessions, if they can engage in an imaginative game or fantasy, if they can give the appearance of feeling or possessing an emotional quality, and behave as to make it appear that something is the case when in fact it is not, then they will do it. They will rob whatever you have. They will rob your love and affection. They will rob your goodness and righteousness. Your money and possessions. All of these things that they don't even deserve. And they already know that they don't deserve it. Which is why when it's all over, you will wonder if they ever recognize your worth and while they may not have valued you on a human level, they look at it like they snagged someone who is more attractive or successful than they are. It's all about what they managed to take from you. It doesn't have anything to do with love. They never valued or appreciated you as a person. They just look at it like they had a good time. They got to reap the benefits and rewards of something good, even if it was only for a short time. There's no sentimental value. They're not reminiscing over anything to do with you. It's all about what you provided to them. They robbed you. So they're not thinking about if you meant anything to them. They just see it as a come up. They just see it as though they've gained something. That's exactly how they're thinking whether they were in a relationship with you or if you're going through a divorce. They're just thinking about how they're going to take your stuff. They're not reminiscing over what you meant to them. None of that means anything to a narcissist. When you've separated from the narcissist, the last thing on their minds is love or affection or anything to do with any sentimental value. They don't care about that. It does nothing for them. To them that feels empty and meaningless. All a narcissist really values is superficial things. So they're missing the benefits that you had to offer them. When they move on with something else and they're living in poor conditions or they have less money, they start missing the benefits that they had with you. They're not missing you as a person. They cannot experience love because they lack emotional depth. All they experience is misery and shame. And they just spend their entire lives doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on those emotions which then causes them to miss the material benefits that you had to offer. But from the moment they met you, 
They never took the time to even recognize your characteristics or the inherent parts of you. They lack emotional depth. So they could not experience that depth within you. Which means that they lack the awareness and the ability to even recognize or understand the value that you had to them. All they can recognize or be aware of is superficial things. Things that exist on the surface. Which means that by default, when they come around you, all they can do is take from you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.